This video will focus on the last category of financial ratios, market-based ratios, which analyze financial returns to investors. Essentially, market ratios are used to help investors decide whether to invest or divest in shares of a corporation. There are three key market ratios that are covered in Chapter 12. Earnings per share, commonly known as EPS, the price earnings ratio, and dividend yield. Let's begin with earnings per share, or EPS, which measures shareholders' returns on a per share basis. EPS is calculated by taking net income and subtracting preferred share dividends, then dividing by the number of common shares outstanding. For Big Dog, the 2024 EPS is $1.16, calculated as $116,000 in net income divided by 100,000 common shares outstanding. For 2023 and 2022 the EPS is $1.17 and $1.12, respectively, calculated the same way. The company has no preferred shares in this case, so that's why we can use net income without any adjustment here. We can see that EPS remains relatively stable over the three years because the number of common shares issued has not changed. The next ratio is the price earnings, or PE ratio, which reflects market expectations of future profitability. The PE ratio is calculated by taking the market price per share divided by the EPS. Let's assume that BDCC's average market price per common share was $4 in 2022, $5 in 2023, and $6 in 2024. For 2024 Big Dog's PE ratio would be $5.17, calculated as the $6 market price divided by the previously calculated EPS of $1.16. This means that, if Big Dog were a publicly traded company, it would be trading at over five times its annual earnings, or income. For 2023 and 2022, the P-E ratios are $4.27 and $3.57, respectively. The stock market price is one of the most important measures of a company's financial performance, and we can see that Big Dog's P-E ratio has been increasing over the three years. While the EPS has remained fairly constant at between $1.12 and $1.17, the market price of the shares have increased more than the EPS, which is favorable. The rising P-E ratio suggests that investors expect that future profits will be good in the coming years. Investors are often willing to pay more for this company's common shares. This must be because future financial prospects are anticipated to be better than in the past three years. The last market ratio is the dividend yield ratio, which measures short-term cash return expected from an investment in the company's shares. The dividend yield is calculated as the dividend per share divided by the market price per share. Some investors hold shares to realize an increasing market price of the shares. This is known as capital appreciation. Other investors want to maximize the dividend revenue from share investments. The dividend yield helps this investor know how much dividend they can expect to receive. Let's assume that dividends declared by Big Dog were $60,000 in 2022, $70,000 in 2023, and $80,000 in 2024. Let's also assume the number of outstanding common shares stood constant at 100,000 shares. The dividend per share is simply the total dividends declared divided by the number of shares, which works out to 80 cents per common share in 2024, 70 cents in 2023, and 60 cents in 2022. With that information, combined with the assumed market prices per share we used in calculating the P-E ratio, we calculate the 2024 dividend yield ratio for Big Dog to be 0.13 to 1, or 13% calculated as the 80 cent per share dividend divided by the $6 market price. We can interpret this to mean that for every $1 invested at the market share price, Big Dog pays 13 cents in dividends. This is also the same as saying that the dividends will yield, or provide the investor, a 13% return on their investment in the shares if they were purchased at the specified market price. For 2023 and 2022, the dividend yields are 14% and 15%, respectively. We can see that investors have received decreasing amounts of dividends relative to the market price, which could be cause for concern for those investors expecting steady cash returns. 
Note that dividends declared increased over the past three years, even though net income has remained relatively flat and despite the company's poor liquidity position. Investors might ask why such high levels of dividends are being paid in this situation. Now that we have completed all of the financial ratios, we can provide an overall summary of the ratio analysis for Big Dog Car Works. First, it's important to be aware that ratio analysis is more useful if accompanied by external supporting information such as overall industry performance ratios, general economy indicators, financial ratios from prior years, analysts' opinions, and management's plans. Since we don't have that information, we can at least make the following overall nine observations for Big Dog. First, although sales are increasing, net income has not kept up. Next, gross profits are stable but operating expenses appear to be an issue. Third, income from operations has not kept up with the increases in the asset base, including increases in current assets. Next, the shortage of working capital and poor liquidity is an immediate concern and management should review its credit policies and monitor its inventory levels to ensure remain in line with sales. Fifth, the plant expansion caused an increase in current liabilities due to increased borrowings, which means that the ability to meet its debt obligations is weakening. Sixth, the ability of income to cover interest expense has also weakened. Our seventh observation is that management should investigate alternatives to short-term borrowings to consider converting some to long-term debt and or issuing additional share capital. Eighth, the stock market price indicates that it expects the company to continue to increase its profits in the future, but that is not guaranteed to happen. Finally, unfavorable ratios may be temporary or easily rectifiable by management.